maybe to just uh, as a last question here, because I, guys, thank you again for all your time. Really appreciate it. Um, and I'll let you get back to whatever you guys were doing. But the the CAN bus using using this CAN network as an option. Now that you guys have done this, you've figured it out, you've implemented it for the flex fuel system. Are there any other doors, any other possibilities that that method is now opening? Like, is it are some wheels turned in about other ways to use this? Yeah, absolutely. So the media obvious opportunity is adding extra sensors above and beyond just ethanol content. So um, some of the big common ones that people like to see if the car doesn't come with it might be something like oil pressure or oil temperature or um, maybe an, on a little bit older car, a, a wideband um, O2 sensor setup so they can monitor fuel ratio more accurately. And the CAN gateway does have the ability to integrate um, analog extra sensors like that. So that's a immediate opportunity that we're, we've got, I believe one sensor already and a, a couple kind of in the works or on the whiteboard to, to bring to market. Um, beyond that, there's wow. potentially some bigger picture stuff we could do um, in terms of triggering an external device. Um, that's more theory than uh, practice right now, but there's, it does op expand a lot of uh, opportunities, like you're saying that uh, increase, what we call IO, you know, input output to the ECU, give us more opportunities to either bring new stuff in or, or send a signal out to do something else. Very cool. Yeah, and now, um, oh, go ahead. just like, I mean, the reason, uh, uh, you know, just like I listened to you and uh, Dewey on IEG's podcast about how you guys wanted to monitor crankcase pressure, I think it was yeah. in uh, for tuning. And it's like, well, the CAN gateway can or could do that. Um, we, uh, it could do it right now uh, with the pressure sensor that we have, but it's a right. zero to 100 PSI pressure sensor. So it might not be the, be as accurate as you want it to be. So um, obviously being able to getting, working on getting other pressure sensor options where you can scale it based off the pressure sensor that you're using for whatever application you're using it for, um, to be able to get that into the ECU and be able to monitor it along with everything else that you're monitoring, RPM, whatnot. Um, and just, you know, it sky's the limit. Uh, all additional injectors, maybe hmm. in the future. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, it's, you, there's op op options galore. <laughs> even, even just from a data standpoint, like being able, because the access port has, it is a great platform to be able to record data and data log, you know, for, for the simple device to be able to plug it in and be able to, to download that data. But like to be to have the ability to actually add a, a sensor or two, a couple of sensors, and add that data log to or to the data log. Um, I mean, what when we we've transitioned to a standalone in the in the race car, and being able to data log all of that information has been a game changer. And I think with with the access port, if you could add a couple sensors, like you're saying, oil temp, oil pressure, oil pressure would be huge. Honestly, crankcase pressure. If I had to add two, it would be oil pressure and crankcase pressure, but that's just me. Um, that would give you an amazing ability to data log that, you know, right now you have to go to a standalone to be able to, to see that in, in any kind of context like that. So just, just from a data standpoint, that seems very cool to me for whatever it's worth. All right. We got, we got plus one on the request column. Yes, plus one. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks for tuning in. To hear the whole conversation, click below for the full episode of this podcast or tune in every week on iTunes or Spotify. If you like these episodes, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel because your support is what makes all of this possible. As always, this show is brought to you by Flatirons Tuning, your premier source for any Subaru, OEM, or aftermarket parts. Check out our website at flatironstuning.com and as always, stay tuned with Flatirons Tuning.